Well, hello everyone. Here we are, Holy Week of 2023. What a fast Lenten season it has been. A reminder of our worship opportunities for this Holy Week of the year. Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, we'll have evening services that will begin at 7 p.m. Then on Easter morning, as we celebrate the news of the empty tomb, we'll have a 6.30 a.m. sunrise worship service in our outdoor chapel behind the church, weather permitting. If the weather does not allow us to worship outside, we will have the service, however, will take place in our fellowship hall. Then our normal worship times on Sunday morning of 8 and 10.30, we will gather in our sanctuary to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Also be on worship that morning. Remember, the youth will be putting on an Easter breakfast, so I invite you to stick around for that as well. Also, what has been happening for these last few weeks and happening for a couple more weeks yet is we are now taking pictures for the 50th pictorial directory. So if you are coming dressed up for Sunday for Celebrate Easter, it might be a great time to stay and have your picture taken while you are here in the building. Great opportunity to do that. Also an opportunity to buy and purchase those banquet tickets for the 50th anniversary celebration that will take place after our 10 a.m. May 21st 50th anniversary worship celebration here in the building. Speaking of the 50th anniversary, you know each week we have trivia. Well, at the end of March, we drew the name, and the winner for the trivia uh, for the month of March is Amy Merrick, who will get two tickets, two free tickets to that banquet. For answering the one question correctly, what year was the church building finished, the original building, and that was in the year 1990. The other questions we had during the month of March were what uh, pastor was called as associate in the September of 2000? That was Jonathan Eilert. What pastor was called associate in 2006? And that was Pastor Amber Wagaman. And so um, we look forward to her actually being here for the anniversary celebration on that day. Jonathan is getting ready to have a sabbatical. That's his last Sunday as his own congregation near Cincinnati. Loveland is celebrating their 60th anniversary as a congregation that morning, so he will not be able to be with us. The other trivia question we also asked in the month of March was, when was the date of the very first worship to take place here in the new building? And the answer to that was April 8th, 1990. The trivia question for now the month of April was that in the year 2000, beginning into the teens, Christ Redeemer had two associates in ministry, now called deacons, aims if you will, that served here on the staff at Christ Redeemer Lutheran Church. We had two of them. What were their names? That is a question for this week. I hope that these holy days coming up of the Christian year will be ones to provide you a connection to our God who makes all things new with example of Christ being dead and then alive again with a promise of eternal life for all of us. And in the meantime, take care, dear church.